Specialist Rick Romero is live at a gas station in Atwater Village with some of those answers. Rick? Well, and first of all, let's take a look at the sign that's behind me. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the price for premium gasoline here in Atwater Village, over $5 a gallon. You know, when we see gas prices rising 50 cents a gallon practically overnight, and when we in California are paying $1.20 a gallon more than the rest of the country is paying, we want to know why, right? Well, according to Consumer Watchdog of Santa Monica, it's simply price gouging. This is all about refiners keeping us running on very low inventory so they can charge very high prices and make very big profits. Jamie Court is president of Consumer Watchdog. He says oil inventories are down because imports into California have virtually stopped. And why is that? No one knows why the imports are down other than that the oil refiners, instead of bringing product in, are shipping product out because they know it's going to make more money. Jamie says shipping product out means oil companies are exporting refined gasoline and diesel fuel from California to outside the country. Energy researcher Cody Rosenfield showed me Bloomberg's marine traffic website and points out a half dozen of our oil tankers on the Pacific Ocean right now. Right now we're looking at the coast of California and the oil tankers that are off the coast today in real time. We're actually able to see that some, where the ships are going and where they've been. And many of them are leaving Los Angeles and San Francisco uh, with refined product headed to South America and Canada. With such evidence, Consumer Watchdog says they've gotten the attention of State Attorney General Kamala Harris's office and played back this voicemail on his cell phone he just received from one of her staff. This issue has piqued our interest uh, substantially. This is all profiteering by the oil refiners, and there's no excuse for it. They don't have an answer. Well, i got to tell you, some of the oil companies say they do have an answer. They are blaming an oil refinery explosion and a labor strike at two different refineries for the smaller supply. Now, of course, when you have a smaller supply and high demand like we have in the summer, then they say prices.